You look amazing. <laughs> no, you do. <laughs> you take my breath away. <laughs> We're not one-dimensional. We're smart and fun. We're not assholes. Let's just have some cake. We're here with the divine El Divine. <laughs> do you get that really bad pun all the time? I do sometimes. It's like definitely been used as a pickup line before. But really? Yeah. But you know, you've seen yeah. Book Smart. I have. I love the movie so much. It's so good, so funny. We're gonna reenact a scene where the two main characters, Molly and Amy, mm -hmm. are basically concerned that they've wasted their entire high school by being boring people. Right. <laughs> How do you feel? Are you prepared for your I'm excited. Acting this debut? is yeah, this is my acting debut. Um so thanks for giving me the chance and the opportunity to showcase my new talent. <laughs> you know, we're all about providing a platform here at MTV. I'm nervous though, I'm really, really nervous. I've never ever done anything like this before. So. Well, we'll give it a shot. We've brought in the big big box with oh, a muffin. Wow. Okay. We didn't have the budget for a cake, uh, as it says in the script. You've decided to be Amy. Yes. Today. And I will be Molly, the a good one. very extra one. If you don't say something in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to take you to the hospital. I don't want to say I'm getting concerned, but to be honest, I'm getting concerned. Triple A, this is Okay, that's obviously not helping. We didn't party because we wanted to focus on school and get into good colleges. And it worked. But the irresponsible people who partied also got into good colleges. They did both. So? So we messed up. We didn't have to choose. They did both, and we're the only assholes. Who did what? We're not assholes. Let's just have some cake and celebrate the end. What were you like in school? Were you a good um, girl or a troublemaker? I mean, no, I think I was maybe a bit cheeky, but I, I, I think all the teachers loved me, but I never did my homework. I was naughty in that respect, but I think, yeah, I think they liked me. I wasn't mean or anything. What's the most <laughs> trouble you ever got into? I don't know if I ever got in trouble. Probably just attention for not doing my homework. I was very much the kind of person, like, in my friendship group, if they wanted to do anything naughty, I'd be the, the freak that was like, guys, are you sure we should do this? So, I don't think I ever got into big trouble. We have to go to a party tonight. Let's go to the next party. Are you kidding? No way! We only have one night left to have studied and partied in high school. Otherwise, we'll always be the girls who missed out. We never made out with strangers or snuck out and had to sneak home without waking our parents or broke any rules. We broke rules. We have fake IDs. Fake college IDs so we could get into their 24-hour library. <laughs> Did you ever have a fake ID? I didn't have a fake ID. I feel like those, that's in the UK, that's not really a thing. It's more like you ask a, a girl like a few years older than you if you can borrow that ID. And I remember me and my friends all shared this one girl's ID. I remember her address was called Laura Bland. Nobody knew who she was. Just somehow we got like hold of this ID and I used it for years. So shout out to Laura Bland, wherever you are, hope you are. <laughs> getting elder Thanks for getting me into the clubs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's so great about breaking rules? Name one person whose life was better because they broke rules. Picasso. That's not, he broke art rules. Name someone who broke a real rule. Rosa Parks. Name another. Susan B. Anthony. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I'm serious, Amy. Everyone thinks we're these robots. They think all we care about is taking a million APs and getting into Yale and editing law review at Georgetown and clacking for a federal judge between junior and senior year before eventually being the youngest justice ever to the nominated ah, <laughs> I was okay. so close. I'm serious, Amy. Everyone thinks we're these robots. They think all we care about is taking a million APs and getting into Yale and editing law review at Georgetown and clacking for a federal judge between junior and senior year before eventually being the youngest justice ever nominated to the Supreme Court support of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. No one knows we can be fun, too. We do, we know. They need to know. Who's they? We're not one dimensional. We're smart and fun. We have to do this. You've just released a single, yeah. Boring People. Yeah. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not personal, I swear, I swear. Where did you get the inspiration for it? The chorus, I guess, is kind of the part where I say, like, we're all united in this feeling of 
you know, feeling like we're boring sometimes, but the verses are very much about me and like introspective and I'm kind of, you know, taking the mick out of myself a bit. From the outside, you have a very unboring life. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's cool, good. Okay. It looks, being a pop star looks like quite fun. I mean, I guess so. I mean, I am really lucky to love what I do. Like when I'm in the studio and I'm, and I'm making music, it's, it's amazing. But you know, after that, I am just going home watching Netflix and eating ice cream, being bored, so. Ryan wanted you to come. She's gonna be there. You're finally gonna make a move. What, she? No. You've been out for two years and you've never kissed a girl. I want you to <laughs> experience this. And what will I be doing during that time? I'm going to experience a seminal, fun anecdote. And we're gonna change our stories forever. We were gonna watch that Ken Burns thing. The Dust Bowl can wait, bitch! <laughs> what took them four years? We're gonna do... I looked at the camera. Uh, what the... What? <laughs> <laughs> the Dust Bowl game was very dramatic. I feel yeah. like I'm a thespian at like a <laughs> college... <laughs> like a college degree. The Dust Bowl can wait, bitch! The Dust Bowl can wait, bitch! What took them four years? We're gonna do it one night. Oscar goes to Alcatraz. Uh, nah, you stole the show there, definitely. No, I think you um, really threw that that muffin with it. a real flourish. Thank you, Olivia Wilde. We have our future. Brooke Smart too. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're we're ready <laughs> for our starring moment. <laughs>